I I had no real idea what to record. I always wanted to record something uh, for the past few days, but I have no idea what to do. So instead, it's another art tutorial. Yay! So we're gonna learn how to draw petite ladies without making them look like mm, bobbies. I'll show you how. First, let me lay out the sketch real quick. So now we got a basic uh, little sketch done. Uh, I wasn't really thinking of anything. I just wanted to draw someone holding a sword, I guess. The real focus now comes from the face right here. And this is where everything changes here. So one of the main issues with, uh, with a lot of um, uh, stuff is that when it comes to drawing small ladies who are supposed to be adults uh, the cutesy art style sometimes lends them to make them look very cutesy to the point where they look like children and that's obviously a problem obviously it doesn't happen all the time uh, there are some cases where it's cute but not to the point where I would say it's a child but there are moments where it's like it's so cute that it looks like a baby and Obviously, that's where shit get, gets to look weird. But there's an easy fix for this. It's, it's really simple. And this is how, how you're supposed to do it. So here I have this simple circle with the cross thing, you know, your typical stuff. So while I'm doing the face shape, it, it really depends on the age of the character. Let's say that this character is like, I don't know, maybe they're my 30s or something like that maybe a little older it's like a weathered well i wouldn't say weathered but a very experienced adventurer right let's say this character is like around the mid 30s something like that what you're gonna do is while drawing the the face shape kind of want the face to be a little bit sharper here's the ear gonna make it like a little elf ear just to go with the tunic and then the eyes the eyes the eyes can be cutesy if you want, but I prefer to, like, the older they get, the sharper they get. That's how I prefer. It really depends, honestly. Because sometimes the eyes, I make them based on their personality. So... Do something like that. Sharp eyes. I'm gonna fix the face real quick. But yeah. Uh, basically, you you make the face uh, a little bit sharper, a little bit older. Maybe add some semblance of wrinkles. It doesn't have to be, you know doesn't have to be extreme unless the character is like older than that here's a face with a little bit more confidence um, uh, I'm gonna draw some things like that And 
There we go. Now I'm just gonna draw her hair a little bit and I'm gonna finish this drawing. Basically, the trick is the face. If you're gonna make a petite character that's supposed to be like an adult, just draw the, sh the face shape a little bit sharper, give her give her sharper eyes and all that. Of course, for more cutesy styles, it does still work. You're gonna, here's the nose, here's the ear. So let's say you work with this kind of art style. It's very cutesy, reminiscent and all that. Although typically this type of bean shape art style has different facial exp uh, facial uh, reconstruction depending on age. But let's say your art style is very cutesy, you want to still portray someone who's older. Well, boom. And then since here's the eyes, you will. there you go. Simple as that. I'm not saying like this is the only way you can do it. No, this is just one of many ways you can do it. You know, I'm not the definitive uh, rule when it comes to, like how to do things. Art necessarily doesn't have rules, but you know, there's always a way to like do things. If you're like stuff with something look for other artists and all that. This is just the way I do it. Not necessarily how you have to do it. So I'm gonna finish this little artwork here. And yeah, 